Welcome everybody to Scott Cooks. Today we'll be doing an unboxing of the New Wave Brio 15.5 quart air fryer, oven grill, and rotisserie. But first, I want to tell you why I took back the Ninja Foodi Smart XL grill. Uh, what you didn't see was off camera. I cooked a lot of stuff in that thing and I had no success. Um, so I just kept trying and trying and kept ruining food and ruining food. And eventually I came to the decision that there was probably something wrong with it. Uh, also, I didn't like the design of the grill. You know, I own the um, grill grate sear and sizzle for my Ninja Foodi, and that thing is fantastic. The grill grate, they call it, and the grill uh, had really high ridges on it and lots of holes in it you know, for the grease to drain through. But that was a big problem, trying to cook fragile things like fish, for example. Stuff would fall into the grates. Uh, some of it would fall down in the holes. So anyway, in the end, I went ahead and returned it. And instead, I picked up this. And again, this is the New Wave Brio 15.5 quart. Uh, this thing does a little bit of everything, including some of those grill functions that the other ninja had and um we're gonna go ahead and open it up today and see what we got and then we'll take it i'm outside again on the picnic table here in texas super nice out and then we'll run inside throw it up on the counter and check out some of the functions all right the first thing i notice is this uh, really big package of manuals books recipes uh and 100 presets now that's going to be interesting presets I've never used a device with presets, so um, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to go ahead and grab the camera. Sorry for any of the shake, but it's the only way you're going to be able to see what I'm doing here. So everything is neatly packaged, sealed up tight, and I'm going to set the camera down and pull this out, and I'm going to set the box aside for a second. This thing is large, and it is a little heavy. There we go. Uh, so, this is nice. I like the look of it. Let's get a little bit of the tape off of it. Let's see, uh, let's get down in here a little more. We got a lot of stuff to undo. Sorry for the camera work again, guys. We're just doing this outdoors. I'm gonna be in the frame for a few minutes, but I didn't like you haven't seen me before. I'm gonna pull some of this packing tape stuff off. I had to put my sweatshirt on this morning, guys. You can probably hear the wind blowing. It's a little cool here in Texas this morning. Now that that feels good. Can you see that in the camera? That feels good. That's a that's a heavy door. I think that's real glass. All right, so we've got a lot of stuff inside. It appears to be all taped together. So we've got a some kind of a wire mesh rack there. Um, okay, we got a pan and another wire mesh rack, probably a drip pan. And uh, let's go ahead and get some of these off. Let's see what's happening. Let's see, I got a kind of a little probe there. Oh, by the way, this has a rotisserie as well. Um, I do like rotisseries. Let's just see what's in the box. Guys, in the box is the rotisserie itself, and uh, some kind of little basket. 
a little frying basket or something. Huh. There's a, like a rotisserie end on it. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Maybe it's a rotisserie basket. That would be cool. Anyway, we're going to uh, go inside here in a little while. We're going to play with all this and fire it up. And So, I just wanted to do the unboxing out here where I had a little bit more room. So, guys... I will see you inside in just a few minutes. All right, everybody. We are back and we are in the kitchen. And they have included an awful lot of these mesh racks. We got a drip pan. And I went ahead and left the sticker on this one so I don't get it mixed up. But this one says only for dehydrating food. Um, only on the highest slot level for dehydrating. So, um... I think I'm just gonna leave the sticker on this particular piece of mesh. I don't know why this is different than the rest, but it appears to be. Set that aside. I'll go ahead and open her up. And we do have a drip pan. And they've included several different kind of racks here. Let me see if I can see if you can see. So this one is almost like a little mini basket really good for throwing uh, potatoes or vegetables in. We've got a flat one here. Put a, well, I guess you can put the same thing in any of them, but uh, put a steak or a pork chop on that one or something. So let's go ahead and uh, put the, we'll put the flat one in right now. We'll just kind of put it in the center here. Let's see, let's see how they fit. The circular rounded part needs to go to the back. The back of this unit is, um, does have an arc in it. So uh, there we go. So that's how we do that. And uh, I'm not gonna put any food in it quite yet, but let's, let's turn it on. Attention, please remove this label prior to use. Oh, <laughs> well, there we go. That makes more sense, doesn't it? All right. Let me get you zoomed in on that real quick. Look at the functions, features real fast. Let's see what we can see. Watts, now that's interesting, look at that. 700, let me get to the other side for you. 1800, so I can go 700 watts, 1500 watts, and 1800 watts. We'll just leave it on 15 for now. We've got rotisserie, stage, delay, warm, sear, that's interesting, temp, menu, probe, and yeah, there's supposed to be a probe here somewhere. Haven't seen it yet. It might be uh, in this box of stuff. So we got a rotisserie, good for a chicken. Oh, uh, what else is in here? Ah, uh, there's the probe. The probe was buried down here in the basket, y'all. So, um, to kind of Squish the, squish the probe down inside there. I'll get that out in a minute. I wanted to show you what you can expect to get in that little package. You've got the quick start guide, which is excellent. And we will go over some of this here in a minute. I'm not gonna do everything. Um, we'll save that for when we start cooking. But inside the book, our cooking guides, the back page, are some of the preheat, uh, the presets I meant to say. Uh, wow, apple pie roasted tamales. We're going to do almost all of these. Also in that little package, you get um, user's guide, your recipe book, twice baked potatoes, uh, rotisserie bacon wrapped pork tenderloin. Oh my gosh, that sounds good. And you also get, of course, the owner's manual. All right, everybody, I've uh, plugged in the probe just to see how it works. And I just also wanted to see how the door is going to close against the probe. And I don't, I don't see anywhere specific that you're supposed to run the wire. So I think you just close it up on it like so. And uh, we'll see over time if this uh, kinks my wire up or not. I wanted to show you this awesome basket. I didn't know this came with it. This basket. You can hook it there, squeeze these in, different settings. And this is a rotisserie basket, y'all. So 
to actually trap food between the top and the bottom of the basket. So yeah, I can see myself doing a, a, a number of things in there. How about a pork chop? A pork chop on the rotisserie, why not, right? All right, one final thing for you before we go, and I um, wanna make sure you, you guys hit the bell for notifications, hit the like button for me, and subscribe to the channel because uh, I'll be doing quite a bit of cooking in this. And I'm just reading through, and this is, this is gonna be so fun, guys. We're gonna have a good time with this. So let's go ahead and set a temperature real fast. Um, so temp, time, so temperature, 400, um, time, five, it looks like five seconds, yeah. That, that's gotta be a minute, so yeah, it's a minute. So 10 minutes and start. And all we wanna do is see if we get some heat. Okay, that's paused it, and let's hope it's hot. Oh yeah, it's not 400, but yeah, that's hot, guys. And I uh, didn't know what this was from outside, but that's a light right there. So it's really illuminated, that's very nice. Okay, so it doesn't start right back up like the food he does. You have to um, restart it. Can we change watts while we're running? We can, so while we're running, we can switch the watts. It's 1800 watts. It's probably what you want to get a, a fast preheat or you're doing something like you want to cook a, a steak uh, really, really fast. Or if you want to do a roast, you might want to cut the watts back on it. I'm just guessing. That's very hot. So I'm, I'm glad to see it gets hot quick. And that's it, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching the unboxing of the New Wave Brio 15.5 quart air fryer, oven, grill, and rotisserie. That's a mouthful. See you very shortly on the next video. We'll be cooking something cool in here.